is Kai Soto joining the Golden State Warriors? As you all know, the Golden State Warriors are looking to make big moves this offseason, and it's now rumored that the Golden State Warriors are starting off by trying to get Kai Soto in a Golden State Warriors uniform. In today's video, we're going to be going through five reasons why this is a perfect decision for the Golden State Warriors and how Kai Soto can help the Warriors win another NBA championship. So make sure to like this video, and guys, 92% of you are still not subscribed to the channel, so it mean the world if you could subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. The first is that Kai Soto is a fantastic scorer. Now, as you all know, when it comes to Golden State Warriors, what they do very much lack and what they did lack last season was definitely enough scoring power. They definitely saw relying on Stephen Curry quite a lot, and it made it very difficult for them to actually make it into the NBA playoffs, which is one of the reasons why they did get knocked out in those play-ins. Now, when it comes to scoring, it definitely is a big, big thing, especially in today's NBA, and that's why I do believe Kai Soto can definitely provide a lot when it comes to the scoring side of things. When we look at Kai Soto, he's currently playing in Japan for Yokohama BC, and he's done a fantastic job averaging 12.8 points, but he's doing this on only 20.9 minutes of game time, and that is honestly a very, very efficient rate. If you don't know, in the Japan League, you know, averaging around 20 points is already considered the 30 points in NBA, and because of that, averaging 12.8 points on just 20 minutes is very, very efficient. And to put that on top of everything, he's also shooting a field goal percentage of 59%. So that is honestly insane to see. And when it comes to Kai Soto's scoring ability, we definitely know it's second to none. Especially at his height of 7'2", not only does he move very well for a 7'2", but he's got the soft touch around the ring. He's got that little floater, little post-up game. His mid-range is fantastic. And the three ball he can definitely work on, but he's still shooting a great 30% from the three. So when it comes to Kai Soto and his scoring ability, we definitely know he is able to score at will. But I think the biggest thing about that is that he's able to shoot it at a very efficient rate. The fact that he is able to score around 12 points in just 20 minutes definitely shows that he doesn't need to be a starter or anything like that to get his buckets. And I think that can definitely translate into the NBA. Yay. If we see someone like Kai Soto get only 10, 12, maybe even 13 minutes off the bench and he can give you around 8 to 10 points, that would honestly be a very, very good thing. Not only just for the Warriors, but also for them when it comes to, you know, crunch off time. The second is that the Golden State Warriors could use a big center in Kai Soto. Now, as you all know, Golden State Warriors have been trying to run small ball for some years now. And yes, it may have worked in the past, but in today's NBA, there's a lot of 7 foot moving like a guard being able to get to the bucket at will and it has made it very very difficult for a team like the Golden State Warriors especially running that small ball lineup to really succeed and I definitely see that being a big issue coming into next season if they don't find a solution for it and this is where I think Kai Soto definitely comes in when we look at the Golden State Warriors roster last season the tallest player on their team was Dario Saric at six foot ten which is not bad however Dario Saric at six foot ten he does doesn't move like a guard and he definitely does struggle when we did see it during the season against other fast type of big men whether it's players like Victor Wembanyama even other players like Rudy Gobert who may not move like a guard but is significantly taller than Dario Saric and Dario Saric definitely struggled quite a lot now the list really does go on and on with those tall players Anthony Davis you can also add into that mix and because of that Dario Saric's minutes were definitely definitely decreased over the course of the season but when it comes to other players that do definitely play that big man role we have trace jackson davis who does move like a guard but he's still only six foot nine and this is why i think kai soto would actually be perfect he stands at seven foot two moves very very efficient for his size i think that's definitely going to be a huge factor coming into next season when we look at kai soto not only is he a very tall player but his defensive abilities is definitely a really really good thing to look at and when we also look at the players that are emerging into the NBA, like our Victor Webinyamas and Chet Holgrims, it's definitely evident that the Golden State Warriors are going to need a little bit more height if they want to be able to stand a chance against teams like Thunder and also like San Antonio Spurs. The third is that the Golden State Warriors could use an efficient rebounder. Now, as you all know, Kai Soto is a fantastic and efficient rebounder, and this is where I think he really does help his team grow when it comes to what the Golden State Warriors are trying to do. 
when we look at the golden state warriors as we all know when it comes to their rebounding ability yes they did actually rank first in total rebounds but where we see a really big problem is actually their opponents allowed rebounding so when we look at golden state warriors they rank 18th in allowing offensive rebounds which means they rank very very low allowing quite a lot of rebounds so in the bottom half also when we look at two point attempts you know this is taken into consideration second chance buckets they did actually rank 16th okay so in the bottom half as well in that category and then total rebounds allowed they did rank 12th which is not too bad but when you look at the seasons where golden state warriors actually did win a championship they actually rank in the top 10 of all those categories so they have fallen off just a little bit not too much but it definitely is enough for them not to make the playoffs which is something that they definitely need to solve and this is where i think kai soto definitely comes in and can help them out when we look at kai soto like i mentioned he did only average around 20 minutes per game but he was still able to grab 6.4 rebounds in his most recent game which was on may 4 so it was a while back but he actually had himself 19 points and 14 rebounds in that matchup so when he is out there on the floor he's grabbing rebounds left right and center and especially at 22 years old he's definitely got that youth and athleticism behind him to really grab those boards at an efficient rate what i do love about this as well is that when we look at golden state warriors not only do they rank or rank a little bit lower in those categories but you definitely see when you watch a lot of warriors games that you'll definitely see a huge increase in second chance buckets when you know other teams do play golden state warriors and i think warriors you know when it comes to their second chance buckets that they did allow all season you definitely saw a big big problem coming into you know that season and hopefully they can solve it by the next season as well but rebounding is definitely something that they need to improve on they also did only rank 13th when it comes to defensive rebound percentage when they didn't rank top 10 when they did win the championship okay so there's definitely a lot of big issues when it comes to rebounding for the golden state warriors that i definitely think they need to solve you know i think brandon podziemski is a great rebounder but the fact that he was actually your second biggest rebounder and he is a guard i definitely think they need to change that okay and it do does not take anything away from brandon podziemski but they definitely need to get a lot more bigs out there that can rebound at an efficient rate and really grab boards to really lift those rankings up that i did mention earlier on the fourth is that the golden state warriors need to start looking for the future now like i mentioned before steph curry draymond green clay thompson who is 50 50 on actually staying in this team they're all getting older and as time goes on not only will they get closer to retirement but the warriors need to start preparing for what team they are going to build once they actually leave i do know that they are getting or trying to get another big superstar in the team to try to have one last run with Steph Curry with Draymond Green and maybe others in order to win a championship but I do believe setting up for the future when you do have Jonathan Kaminga Trace Jackson Davis Brandon Podziemski now even someone like Wiggins Moses Moody list really does go on and on who are not just young and up and coming stars but I do believe can definitely take over this team once you see Steph and Draymond leave and this is why i think kai soto would be a great fit kai soto is still only 22 years old he's a very very young player seven foot two as we all know plays at center position very well but he definitely not just has a lot of potential behind him but i think getting him right now in his potential phase where he is starting to grow is trying to start to get better i do believe is probably one of the perfect opportunities and the warriors wouldn't have to give up quite a lot to actually get him they don't need to offer him a 5 10 15 million dollar contract or anything like that I do believe someone like Kai Soto would definitely accept the minimum just to be in an NBA uniform and you definitely see a lot of interviews of Kai Soto mentioning that how he does want to make the NBA and wants to play for a great great team so I do believe when it comes to the future of this Golden State Warriors team yes you are trying to win a championship next season but they do need to also prepare for the seasons where Steph Curry is no longer there where Draymond Green is no longer there and start to get potential you know superstars in the making the fifth is that it would actually be good for business if Kai Soto came to the Golden State Warriors. Now, as you all know, Kai Soto is Filipino, and we do know that the Golden State Warriors and the Golden State City itself, San Francisco, definitely has a lot of Filipino culture in it. We actually have seen Warriors release a uniform that was inspired by Philippines, and you definitely see a lot of the fans out there being Filipino as well. I think getting Kai Soto would actually be a very smart business move, and I think the front office has definitely seen that we've seen kai soto really go into a lot of g league and also 
so summer league teams whether it's orlando magic the last time or even other teams in the past but we did see when they did get kai soto for the orlando magic summer league team we actually saw orlando magic social media skyrocket and it is actually rumored that the reason why they did that was just for more publicity so it is a bit shady i do i do agree there but when it comes to the golden state warriors they definitely have been eyeing kai soto and not only just from a basketball perspective from but from a business perspective as well i think it would honestly be great for the franchise the golden state warriors do inherit a lot of filipino culture and the city of san francisco i think that definitely can be a big big plus especially with such a filipino demographic when it comes to other players in this league we definitely haven't seen a lot of players have the same amount of popularity that kai soto has especially at his caliber you know yes you see your lebron's getting all the love and all the praise but kai soto who's probably never played a, a, a couple of starting games in the nba yet already has a bigger fan base than some of the stars or some of the starters you see in the nba right now